Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to database tutorials with visualbasic.net. Uh, today's tutorial is very simple and short. It's about database connections. Uh, so far, what we did is that we used the wizard in order to uh, in order to uh, open database connection, get the content of a table, and so on. Uh, Today we are going to see how we can write the code that does that. We will not use any wizard at all. Okay, so we will only cover one thing here. It is a database connection. Uh, whenever you want to do some kind of operation against the database, you must have an open connection. Okay, so. Um, in order to test this, we have this simple database. It's called test. I'm going to open it now. And it contains one table. It's called NME. And it contains a column called names. And this is its content. So we are going to open this database and access it, its content. Now, um, let's go back to this simple project. This is a very simple project. It's a uh, we have a, a form and we have a button okay now uh, the button has the following code first thing we need to define the connection object and the connection object allows you to connect to the database you are you want to work with um, so as you can see this is dimension my connection and uh, I guess I I'm gonna write the code again so that you understand what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm gonna create another button. Okay. So this is another button. Open connection, and this is gonna be open connection two. Okay, now I'm gonna double click this one. Now First thing, as we said, open uh, create the connection object. So dimension C O N N, whatever the name is, as O L E D B dot O L E D B connection. Okay. Now the object is not initialized. This is why we are going to use new keyword here. Okay. In order for a connection to work, in order for a connection with the database to work, you need to define what's called a connection string. And here, you should write something. Okay, so the connection string, what, what's the connection string? It's a text that describes the information that your application needs in order to communicate with the database. Okay. Uh, now, what does that mean? Now, let's look at this part. This part, you see, there is this, the provider part. Okay. Now, this is part of the connection string. What this means that we are, you are going to use a piece of software. Okay, and this is the name of the, that piece of software that will allows you to communicate with Access Database. Okay, so it is Microsoft Ace All IDB driver. Okay, this is the Ace driver that allows you to communicate with Access database. If you are gonna communicate with Oracle database, you might need to specify a different uh, provider. If you are using MySQL, you will specify a different provider. Each database uses a different uh, provider. Okay, or a different driver. Now, the rest of the connection string uh, tells you uh, some information related to the database. For example, in Access, uh, you need to specify the physical path where the database actually is. Okay, in in Oracle database, you might need to specify the port number. You might need to specify uh, the IP address of the server, the username and password, uh, and so on. 
in MySQL, there's something similar to that, and so on. So the connection string, in short, describes the driver that communicates with the database uh, with the uh, other needed information in order to open the connection. So I am going to copy this from here. Copy. And I'm going to paste this here. Okay. So now I have the connection object, but the connection is not open yet. Okay. Now open the connection. C O N N dot open. Now this step opens the connection to the database. Now um, I am going to add this MSG bar. Uh, wait a minute a little bit so msg box connection is open and then in this part here you should write uh, the code that access the tables and do some processing do some processing and finally close the connection. So here dot close okay MSG box connection is close. Okay. Now the reason I did this one uh, is the following we are gonna open the connection okay and then the execution is going to stop and then after that we might do some processing here actually i don't i didn't do any processing here all i did is this message box okay but i'm going to show you how the connection is open and then we are going to close it so always open connection do processing and then close the connection now let before we do some test here uh yeah, let's do a t this test and then we will go to, to this code. So I'm going to run this one. Minimize this. Now, watch this carefully. So here we have this access file, right? I'm going to click on open connection. As you can see, you see this little file. This is the log file. This will allow um, sorry this means that this database is open and uh, this contains information about the logs and stuff like that and you can see that the connection is open and if I click here the connection is closed and you see the log file is gone so um, so this means that we successfully opened and closed the connection to the database okay now let's go go back now and look at uh, this code the one that already exists here so here we are defining a connection okay exactly the same and then we have this we open the connection now this is a query this is we are gonna cover this in the next tutorial here we are defining a command which which means it's a query we are selecting all the information of the table and me and then we are gonna loop on the content of the table displaying the names one after another they don't worry about this code this is just to demonstrate that we can access the data so I am gonna run this I'm gonna click on the first one now check the names John Michael Todd Bond so we can access all these data okay so this is all about this is it for the database connection now uh, the question is okay how do I get or how do I know uh, the connection string this might be the most difficult part in the subject is knowing the connection string and actually it's not that difficult the simplest way to do it is this go to um, data source select add a new data source it's a database select next select a new connection Okay, now select your database. Okay, this is your database. Okay, when you select the database, you just click here, you will see the connection string. 
you just copy this one from here and then you just you just go and paste it in this place and that's it okay it's a uh, it's as simple as that this is how you do it um, another alternative is that you can access a website called connection string let's I think it's called connection strings something like that yeah this is this is it this is connection strings this website will uh, allow you it's connection strings um, here you can select any database and uh, yeah so let's say you want to access MySQL database you just click on that okay my connection is a little bit slow but you get the idea here so um, this is the connector this is the net connector so you click on that you can see that the connection string it should be like this the server you write the server name here the database name here username and uh, password if you have a port you, uh, you specify it if you have main pipe if you have multiple servers and so on if you have an encryption stuff like that okay now um, you can select another type um, for example if you want to use for example postgresql mm -hmm. uh, dot connect um, you see this is, this is one of the connections I use this is how you can specify it you can see some are very similar to others but um, connection strings uh, help you out a lot and let me see where access is where is access ah this is it you can even access excel files anyway so this is access and this is the ace driver okay which, which we are using you can see here this is it this is the ace driver and this is where the database file is okay so this is all for today's tutorial it's very simple and very easy um, if you have further questions let me know um, and send these questions to us at mka-sub.com also check the websites you'll find other video tutorials and transcript have a nice day